Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech and today we're going to be reviewing the HTC HD7. It is the first device on T-Mobile to offer Windows Phone 7 and has done a great job as its flagship device for T-Mobile. Uh, this is a large, large phone as far as the display is concerned. You may not be able to tell that because I have pretty big hands and it probably looks like a normal phone in my hand. But uh, either way, let's talk about the specs a little bit. It's got a nice 4.3 inch screen, so it's a pretty big screen, or about the largest you're going to find. It's about the same size as a Droid X or the previous HD2 that had uh, the older version of Windows Mobile on it. It has a 1 gigahertz processor with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. It's non-removable storage. It has a 5 megapixel camera with dual flash, as all Windows Phone 7 devices must have that or higher. On the side, we do have our camera button to activate that as well. The battery is removable, and let's take a look at that quick. The battery comes out and is a pretty low capacity battery. Now, the battery itself is supposedly good for six and a half hours or so of talk time and 310 hours of standby, or uh, five and a half hours on 3G and uh, 320 hours of standby on 3G. Um, but the battery is only about a 1230 milliamp hour capacity. I've seen it listed as three or 1300 milliamp hours, but in this case, it's actually not printed on the battery, so I can't tell you for sure. I'll just talk about that a little bit later, uh, but that's the battery part of it. Um, other than that, the phone uh, has a capacitive touchscreen that's that's quite nice. Has a speaker uh, that's kind of in the back and is supposed to sort of resonate through these front uh, ducts where your earphone piece is and kind of where the microphone area is, which is actually there. Uh, but let's go over the design of the phone. The phone itself is just a really nice sleek design, has a nice kind of titanium color metal band around it that gives it a really string, uh, strong feel as far as rigidity and how solid it is in your hands. The bottom, um, you have your microphone, micro USB, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is kind of weird to see it on the bottom, but kind of works out for the better, I think, in the long run uh, after use, especially if you want to use it in a dock. On the side, we have our camera button, we have our volume up, down, sleep wake on the top, and power on. Nothing on this side. Camera on the back, as we said before. And we also have a stand for when you want to watch videos. Kind of holds it there just like that. So that's pretty much it aesthetically and we just have a rubberized grip on the back with some nice metal accents this is all metal right here no plastic the piece right here and here is plastic the rest of it is all metal and really nice in your hand so the screen itself like I mentioned is a 4.3 inch screen let's go ahead and un or turn the phone on I'm not going to talk about Windows Phone 7 itself as far as the operating system goes just because I've covered that on some videos previously. If you haven't seen those, be sure to check them out. Uh, but for this review, just know that I'm on edge right here because I have this phone unlocked and I'm using it on AT&T. And unfortunately, T-Mobile and AT&T do not have the same phone bands, so I can't get 3G with this phone, which really kind of stinks. So... Um, I would suggest being on T-Mobile if, if you're in the U.S. and you want to use this phone. So the phone, the screen itself is really responsive, just like all Windows Phone 7 devices. And I really like the, the very large screen, especially when it comes to looking at music albums in the Zune player um, and scrolling through things like that. And just pictures and things in general. It just does a really nice job of displaying that. That said, the screen does seem a little bit dim at times and isn't quite as vibrant next to something like the Samsung Focus, which is actually using a Super AMOLED screen. It's even a little bit dim compared to the surround, uh, the HTC surround as well. So I don't know if that's uh, the, the way they've backlit it or what, but it does see a little, seem a little bit dim. If you've you've not used it or compared it next to another phone I don't think it's gonna be a problem unless maybe you're in a really sunny state so if you're in uh, Florida California something like that uh, as opposed to upstate New York where it's cloudy and gray all the time um, you, you may wanna check that out before you go ahead and put your hard-earned money down towards the phone the screen is really responsive um, it's your typical Windows Phone 7 uh, with the HTC hub add-on and uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for this. Now, as far as the 
call quality and reception goes, this is an excellent phone as far as that goes. I've yet to drop a, a phone call even on AT&T, uh, although I am using Edge and not 3G. The signal quality is quite good. I have a good strong signal. I'm in a basement right now and I have full strength, which is really nice. Um, the phone itself as far as Wi-Fi is good. The part where it's lacking though is the battery. So as you can see the battery is about well, half full, maybe a little bit more. And I get about, a, I don't know, if I start at 8 a.m. I can go to about 2 to 3 in the afternoon with normal use. I use a, a smartphone. I'm, I'm using uh, texting, Twitter, the Zune or the music player quite a bit and maybe the occasional game down here in Xbox Live. I'm checking my email every 15 minutes on Gmail and Hotmail as, as, it, as it comes in. So I've just got two email accounts, you know my calendar is updating from time to time but I don't think I'm, uh, I'm not crazy on using it. It, it. it lets me know when I get an email or a message and I check it and then maybe while I'm in it I'll check Twitter or something like that. Um, so really the battery's not too great. Now I know HTC offers a larger capacity battery, uh, but you would have to buy that as an accessory after you get the phone. So it's a 1500 milliamp hour battery I've seen. Uh, some people warn against using the aftermarket ones. I haven't tried that, so all I can say is if you value your phone, you might want to check the HTC battery and spend the little extra money for that. I don't really know. I haven't used it. But the phone itself just feels solid. It's really nice. It's a great phone in your hands. It's, it's big. It's great to watch multimedia on, especially with this little stand. It may seem generic, but it's so discreetly tucked away, and it feels like it's a quality piece of material. It doesn't wobble. I mean, you got to really push on it. I'm giving it a good amount of force. It doesn't wobble. It just closes open it, we set it down, we watch our video on Netflix or whatever, and um, it works out pretty good that way. I think if I had to complain about uh, the, the thing overall is I, I feel like I'm going to break the thing all the time because the screen is so big and it's so f right, right flush to the top that if I did drop it by any means, um, I just think it might break. I don't know, I haven't tried it, and I'm not going to try it, but if you're someone that's a little shaky with your phones, I would maybe take a look with maybe something smaller, as this is a big, big phone. I know, it, like I said, it may not look it in my hands, but it is pretty big. So, other than that, though, I think it's a great phone and definitely worth checking out, especially if you're on T-Mobile and interested in, in uh, Windows Phone 7. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. So be sure to check it out, and if you have any questions, I'll feel, uh, feel free to uh, ask them, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them for you. Please continue to subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate that, and um, I'll see you next time.